Hello and welcome to our new version showcase tutorial. Version 203 presents a lot of UI updates and new functionalities added. Let's get started. Change log. Translations, manage groups, marketplace, and migration pages. We have extracted all the translation keys from the pages manage groups, marketplace, and migration. You can now search and translate the keys to introduce a new language to your panel's user interface. Added setting to increase burst rate for MP4 VODs. This new option in our panel will increase the burst rate of VOD's MP4 files in your panel. This will improve the overall zapping speed when your customers start their movies. You can experiment to find the best number for your content. Added XCID in tables, movies slash series slash episodes. We have added the XCID just under the UUID in the panel. You can take advantage of this on the pages Manage Movies, Manage Series, and Manage Episodes. Added Sync option on Renew for Max Connections. We have added Auto Sync of the line connections from the package when it is changed. When you renew a multi-room line with a standard package, the allowed connections will be synced with the new package setting for connections count. Added Sync Filter by Owner You can now sync the lines in your panel created by a package with a specific owner. This will give you the ability to apply changes to the lines of your resellers by editing the package that was used for their creation and synchronizing it to the lines. UI Improvement Show Error Message on Failed Load of Table It is important to see if something goes wrong, that is why we've added an error message when a table fails to load. UI Improvement Show More Indications on Manage Stream We have added a clear indication on Manage Streams page if the stream is linked to provider. In addition to this, the headings are now clickable and redirect to the edit page of the entry. UI Improvement Dashboard Table Buttons Counties in recent statistics are now clickable, redirecting you to live connections and filtering the connections from that country. We have removed the repeated numbers in the card streams, subscriptions, connections, and servers. We now represent this with a percentage of the total number from the top of the cards. Added Check Connection button to Live Connections. We added a new button in the Live Connections menu. It will help you to see the status of a certain connection. Also when you click on the MTR details you'll see all of the ASNs the line goes through. Added Better Handling of Credit Transaction Reasons. We have improved our Credit History Logs page. With a new column there you'll find a system-generated reason for the transaction. This will make your log more visually appealing and informative. Redesigned Login Page We've changed the default login page, with a sleek new background and clean interface. Bear in mind you can change the appearance of the login page and your avatars anytime. We'll show you how in a future video. Improved Redis usage when using file cache. We have refactored our code to optimize the file caching process and performance. This will have a positive impact on resource consumption for your Redis instances. Bug fixes. Fixed mass edit lines for mobile browsers. Fixed resellers could not kill connections. Fixed handling of 1S URL format in providers M3U. Fixed error on B2C notifications endpoint. Fixed series sorting error. Thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe for more offers and updates. See you soon.